Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti and this is my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In the video lecture series on enzymes, today let's study about cofactors and coenzymes, their properties and examples. The functional enzyme is called as holoenzyme and holoenzyme is made up of apoenzyme which is the protein part of enzyme and cofactor which is the non-protein part of enzyme. So together apoenzyme plus cofactor is called as holoenzyme. Now this cofactor, if it is inorganic or it is a metal ion, it is called as activator. And if the metal ion is tightly bound to the enzyme, then it is called as metalloenzyme. And if the enzyme is loosely bound to metal ion, it is called as metal activated enzymes. And if the cofactor is organic compound, which is attached to apoenzyme, it is called as coenzyme. So coenzyme is an organic compound which is non-protein part and it combines with apoenzyme to form functional enzyme that is holoenzyme. Coenzyme is derived from vitamin B complex. There are some coenzymes which are derived from non-vitamins also. Some enzymes require both a coenzyme and one or more metal ions for its activity. When coenzyme or metal ion is very tightly or covalently bound to enzyme, it is called as prosthetic group. For example, the heme proteins like cytochrome oxidase, catalase, peroxidase, they have heme as a prosthetic group. Some authors use the terms like prosthetic group, cofactor and coenzyme interchangeably. Now let's see the properties of coenzymes. So, as we know, holoenzyme is made up of apoenzyme plus cofactor and this cofactor, if it is organic, it is called as coenzyme. So apoenzyme is the protein part of holoenzyme and it is responsible for three-dimensional infrastructure which is required for chemical reaction. And the coenzyme is non-protein part which is organic and it is required for optimum activity of enzyme. And together, apoenzyme plus coenzyme, it is called as Holoenzyme. So this coenzyme, it is low molecular weight organic substance. It is heat stable. It is the transient carrier of specific functional group, which is essential for biological activity of enzyme. And the coenzyme is, it, it combines loosely with the enzyme molecule and it is easily separated by dialysis. So what is coenzyme? Coenzyme is a non-protein, low molecular weight, heat stable, organic molecule, dialyzable and it is required for optimum activity of enzyme. After completion of reaction, the coenzyme is released from apoenzyme and it can bind to another enzyme molecule. Most of the coenzymes are derived from vitamin B complex and it has no role in determining substrate specificity of enzyme because the apoenzyme which is the protein part of holoenzyme it is responsible for substrate specificity and not the coenzyme. Now let's see various coenzymes which are derived from vitamins that is B complex vitamins. So B complex vitamins include vitamin B1 which is also called as thymine and the coenzyme is thymine pyrophosphate required for oxidative decarboxylation transketolase reaction. B2 is riboflavin and the coenzymes are FAD, FMN which are required for oxidation reduction reactions. Vitamin B3 is niacin and the coenzymes are NAD+, NADP+, and this is required in oxidation reduction reactions. Vitamin B5 is pantothenic acid and the coenzyme is coenzyme A and it is the acyl carrier. Vitamin B6 is pyridoxine and the coenzyme is pyridoxal phosphate which is required for transamination, deamination and decarboxylation of amino acids. Vitamin B7 is biotin and the coenzyme is biocytin. It is involved in the carboxylation reactions. Vitamin B9 is folic acid and the coenzyme is tetrahydrofolate, THF. And this THF is a carrier of one carbon group. Vitamin B12, it is called as cyanocobalamin and it has two co coenzymes. Methylcobalamin, which is involved in the methyl group tra transfer and deoxyadenosylcobalamin, which is involved in the isomerization. So these are the various coenzymes derived from vitamins. First, 
thymine pyrophosphate derived from thymine, FADFMN from riboflavin, NAD plus NADP plus from niacin, coenzyme A from pantothenic acid that is vitamin B5, PLP that is pyridoxal phosphate from pyridoxin vitamin B6, biocytin from vitamin biotin, tetrahydrofolate from B9, methylcobalamin and deoxyadenosylcobalamin from vitamin B12. Now let's enumerate the enzymes which require these coenzymes derived from vitamins. Thymine pyrophosphate is required by transketolase and pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. FMN is the coenzyme of L amino acid oxidase. FAD is the coenzyme of D amino acid oxidase. NAD plus is the coenzyme of lactate dehydrogenase. NADP plus is the coenzyme of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase. Coenzyme a is the coenzyme of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and this is required for conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA. Pyridoxal phosphate is the coenzyme of transaminases like ALT-AST. Biocytin is the coenzyme of pyruvate carboxylase. Tetrahydrofolate is the coenzyme of formyl transferase. Vitamin B12 has two coenzymes methylcobalamin and deoxyadenosylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin is the Coenzyme of homocysteine methyltransferase and deoxyadenosylcobalamin is the coenzyme of methylmalonyl CoA mutase. There are various other coenzymes which are not related to vitamins. For example, ATP that is adenosine triphosphate which is the donor of phosphate group adenosine or and adenosine monophosphate moiety. CDP it is the cytidine diphosphate carrier of choline ethanolamine in phospholipid synthesis. UDP that is uridine diphosphate, it is the carrier of glucose in glycogen synthesis. SAM that is S adenosyl methionine, it is the donor of methyl group in transmethylation reactions. PAPS that is phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate, it is the donor of sulfate group required in the synthesis of mucopolysaccharides. There are some more coenzymes which are derived from non vitamins. For example, lipoid, which is the carrier of acyl group and electrons, and this lipoid is required by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, which converts pyruvate to acetyl CoA. Tetrahydrobiopterin, it is the source of hydrogen, which is important in the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine, which is catalyzed by enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. Then coenzyme Q, it is the hydrogen acceptor from flavor proteins and it is the component of electron transport chain. Coenzymes can be divided into two groups, group 1 and group 2. Group 2 coenzymes involve transfer of protons or electrons and they are important for reactions catalyzed by enzymes oxidoreductases. The examples are FAD, FMN derived from riboflavin, NAD+, NADP+, derived from niacin and coenzyme Q. Group 2 coenzymes, they transfer groups other than hydrogen or protons and the enzymes, coenzymes examples are thymine pyrophosphate which transfers hydroxyethyl group, coenzyme A which transfers acetyl group, biotin transfer carbon dioxide or bicarbonate group, then PLP that is pyridoxal phosphate transfers amino group. Tetrahydrofolate transfers 1 carbon group and ATP transfers phosphate group. Under some conditions, the use of coenzyme in a reaction become critical and even more important than the use of substrate itself for normal body functions. And under such conditions, the coenzyme is called as co-substrate or second substrate. Usually, the following two conditions should be fulfilled to call a coenzyme as a co-substrate. First, the change in coenzyme is more important than the change of substrate into product. Second is the change of coenzyme is opposite to the change in the substrate. So let's see the example. In the process of glycolysis, glucose is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate through series of reactions. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate by the action of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase and here NAD is reduced to NADH. Then through the series of various glycolytic reactions, there is formation of pyruvate, which is the end product of aerobic glycolysis. 
the pyruvate then can be converted to lactate by the action of enzyme lactate dehydrogenase in anaerobic condition and here NADH is oxidized to NAD. So here NAD formation is more important than lactate formation and this lactate has no metabolic uh, role uh, actually it can cause muscle cramps and lactic acidosis and it is harmful but still it is formed because this is NAD formation is very important and it is required to continue the glycolysis under anaerobic condition and this is because the glycolysis is the only energy producing pathway in the body which can operate under anaerobic condition and therefore the need of NAD plus formation is essential to continue the process of uh, glycolysis in the anaerobic states uh, as well as in the cells like erythrocytes where there is no mitochondria. The cofactors containing metal ions can be metalloenzyme or metal activated enzyme. The, in the metalloenzyme, enzyme is tightly bound to metal ions and that cannot be separated without breakdown and loss of enzyme activity. The examples are cytochrome oxidase which contain iron and copper, catalase peroxidase contain iron, carbonic anhydrase and it has zinc. The metal activated enzymes, the enzyme is loosely bound to the metal ions and can be separated without breaking the enzyme protein and biological activity is enhanced by addition of metal ion from outside. For example, hexokinase is a metal activated enzyme which requires magnesium and amylase requires chloride. Now let's see the examples of metalloenzyme where metal is tightly bound to the enzyme. So zinc containing metalloenzymes are carbonic anhydrase, carboxypeptidase, alkaline phosphatase, alcohol dehydrogenase. Magnesium containing metalloenzymes are hexokinase, phosphofructokinase, enolase, pyruvate kinase. Copper containing metalloenzymes are cytochrome oxidase, tyrosinase, lysyl oxidase, superoxide dismutase. Iron containing metalloenzymes are cytochrome oxidase, catalase, peroxidase, xanthine oxidase. Phosphoglucomutase and glycosyl transferase has manganese. Xanthine oxidase has molybdenum and glutathione peroxidase has selenium. Calcium containing metalloenzymes are phospholipase and lipase. So this is very important for brief answer question. The question can be enumerate the enzymes containing zinc, magnesium, copper or iron. Now let's summarize today's topic that is cofactors and coenzymes. The functional enzyme is called as holoenzyme which is made up of protein part that is apoenzyme plus cofactor which is a non-protein part of holoenzyme. So apoenzyme plus cofactor is holoenzyme. Cofactor can be activator or coenzyme. So the cofactor is called as activator if it is inorganic or metal ion and if it is organic it is called as coenzyme. The activator, if the metal ion is tightly bound to the enzyme, it is called as metalloenzyme. And if the enzyme is loosely bound to the metal ion, it is called as metal activated enzyme. The examples of metalloenzyme are cytochrome oxidase, carbonic anhydrase and metal activated enzymes are hexokinase, amylase. Coenzymes are derived from vitamin B. There are some Coenzymes which are not derived from vitamins, for example, ATP, lipoate, tetrahydrobiopterin. Coenzymes can be divided into two groups, group 1 and these coenzymes are involved in the transfer of proton or electrons. For example, FAD, FMN, NAD+, NADP+, coenzyme Q. Group 2 coenzymes are involved in the transfer of groups other than protons and electrons, for example, Thymine pyrophosphate, coenzyme A, biotin, PLP that is pyridoxal phosphate, tetrahydrofolate, ATP which transfers phosphate group. So this is all about cofactors and coenzymes. I hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you for watching and happy learning.